guys, what's up? It's Abs. So before starting this video, I was gonna watch my update video from before, but I didn't. <laughs> it's, it's like kind of early in the morning for me, but it's not. Like it's one of the days that I don't work, so. But I'll get into that. Basically this video is gonna be a very long, updated, Give you something to watch for about a month because there's probably going to be a lot of details that you're going to be like, oh yeah, like this stuff and that stuff. But let's just get started and a few disclaimers before anything. One, I'm not quitting YouTube forever. Two, um, again, I'm not wearing makeup. I'll tell you that story too. Um, and yeah, but... Also, this video is going to be kind of rambly and kind of like random just because it's all the things that like I've been doing that I haven't told faraway family or faraway friends that just like, oh, so I'm just going to kind of spitball it all out. Hope you guys enjoy. Um, but to the makeup thing, yeah, I haven't worn makeup in like two, three weeks straight. And that's only because, I don't know if you can see, but I have, like, tons of face demons. No joke. And I was like, okay, I'm just not going to wear makeup and try to, like, calm my face down. Because it's like, oh, like, maybe it's because you're wearing too much makeup. Okay, well, I haven't worn makeup in three weeks, and my acne has not gone away. Like, I probably have, like, four or five on my face at all times, and it's really annoying. Um, but that's one thing. Second thing, which involves of yesterday, which got me so excited, Dan and I got Y memberships, which I'm so happy about because um, if you don't know Dan at all, he really likes to work out. He, it's one of his favorite things. And he's like, I need to go to a gym. I feel terrible about myself. Like, I need to go to a gym. It's one of his favorite things. Um, and I was like, okay, well, let's go get Y memberships. And the thing is, is that it's a bit expensive to enter for me at least just because I'm already like paying to stay here I have my hospital bills and I have that over top of it but I was thinking about it and I'm like well if I'd give money to anything I'd give money to this only because one it's benefiting me because I get to work out there's a pool there's a sauna there's a hot tub there's a track there's cycle class like there's so many things to do there that it's so beneficial and it's all free to me. Like if I just pay like 36 bucks a month, it's different per Y, obviously, but that's just how it is for me. But I would highly suggest if you're looking into like going to a gym, look into the Y first because I know that there's a Y like close to me that it's just a gym. There's no like extra stuff that comes with it. And then the gym that we actually applied for has like a gym, a sauna, massage classes, like, um, Zumba classes, um, gymnastics. Like, it has so much stuff that it's actually, like, worth it to go. So definitely check into your why before you, like, pay for it kind of a thing. Like, they give you a two-week trial, or at least they should before you go into it. Um, anyway, and I have a new job. If you haven't already heard, I don't think I've posted it at all, but I, so far I'm really enjoying it. It's hard, but I'm really enjoying it. I work at Walmart, which even though it's Walmart, I think it's one of the best jobs that you could have. And I only say that because yes, Walmart is probably one of the biggest corporations in the United States at this very moment. But that also means that they're doing their stuff right. Like the only one issue that I have right at this very moment with it is my schedule but the thing is that that's not Walmart's fault that's not my fault but it's just everyone's kind of like there's so many people there that it's just like it's overwhelming and it I get it like scheduling is hard to schedule people but it's not even that hard because I'm really good at working around schedules so it works out but um also I work with nothing but guys because I'm in the electronics department and I was going to make a video of, like, secrets of Walmart. Just the things that I see customers do, and I'm like, you need to know this. One little tip that 
because I'm not making this video. If you want me to make a video, comment or like this video and I will make this video. But one little thing. You know those like DVD bins in Walmart? Letting you know the electronics associates actually have to organize them. Actually have to make them look nice. Letting you know that like the next time that you just go Ooh, and like pull them all out and make them crazy and then leave them. I mean, I get it. Like they're technically supposed to be like that. But I thought I'd let you know, like, it's actually, that's, like, part of our cleaning area. Um, but, yeah, I work at Walmart, and it's been pretty nice. And, actually, um, since it is Walmart and it's a higher corporation, they actually pay you pretty well. I'm not going to say, like, the exact number or anything, but it's not like I'm, like, a billionaire or anything like that. But I'm, like, they're bi-weekly and... I'm okay. Like, it's not like it's a minimum wage job for me at all. I'm just very happy for what I'm getting paid right now. And yeah, that's Walmart. Um, next thing. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, la, 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 la. Wedding stuff. Yes. Okay. So Dan and I have been trying before. We weren't really, we were so busy with everything with me moving in with the people that I'm living with now, with like this hospital stuff, like with everything that we didn't even, we were like, oh yeah, we're getting married. That's funny. Um, so recently we've been trying to get stuff done. And so far I have, obviously I have my dress in my closet. Yes, I do. I have my dress. I have my bouquet, but half of my bouquet is also my three girls bouquet. So it's not that hard to find. And we also bought tulle, which is like, I don't really know how to, it's like a tutu fabric. That's like the best way that I can describe that. It's like tutu fabric, but it's like a really long, thin strand of it. And it's like, we're going to hang it up from the ceiling and hang it down the aisles. It's going to look really cool. So far, those are the only things we bought. Oh, and our mason dryers. But, um, if my bridesmaids are watching... Go check our Facebook page thing, messenger thing, and I put up details for us if you didn't see that already. Um, I'm trying to think of like certain little things. I broke my laundry basket yesterday, and I'm going to tell you the story of this laundry basket. So, this is the laundry basket. It's... Green on the inside, and it's got this plastic thing on the inside, and it has handle, because it broke yesterday. But also, the bottom is, like, tearing apart anyway, so... And it's a Longerberg basket. Let me tell you the story of this basket. When I was, I want to say 14, I am 20 years old now, when I was 14, my mom and I, and I think my mamma and my sister, went to a bingo at like a high school or something. My mom and my mom all love bingos where you just go and you win prizes if you win. So I was playing and it was the game that you have to play until you fill your entire card. The whole bingo card. Like if once you do that, you yell bingo and you win. What was in here, there was so much stuff in here. I think it was like Harley Davidson stuff, Raven stuff. It was filled with like chips and like Filled with everything. I probably went through the... I think it was, like, majority of food. But I think I went through it within, like, a week or something. And then afterwards, my mom took the laundry basket. And I'm like, Mom, I won that basket. Can I have it for my laundry? She's like, sure, whatever. So I took it, and now I've had it ever since. But now it's, like, my favorite thing ever because it's my laundry. Like, I won that laundry basket. Like, it means a lot. So the handle broke off of it, and the bottom's getting, like, really rough up that I'm like you know what I think I just need to get a new one and then I've also been realizing like with this job like I've been having to wear like two outfits a day sometimes because I sweat a lot and even though I don't but I do um so yeah that's the story of my laundry basket <laughs> um oh another thing my car is going up Oh my goodness, it is terrible. It's a terrible car. Dan and I have been trying to think about how we could do it, but we're just trying to get me like a cheap car to make me through make it through because my car is about it's Dan's like, I bet you're not gonna have a car by November. <laughs> Which 
I would highly agree. <laughs> but that's another thing. Um, ooh, hospitals. Okay, so I don't know what I quite told you guys about everything with the hospital stuff. I know I told you that I had a mass and that I might have to get it removed and like certain things like that. Well, by the way, we're skipping the whole lupus stuff. That stuff doesn't exist. Ignore it. Blah, blah, blah. It doesn't exist anymore. We're back on the mass stuff. So the mass, apparently I had five biopsies done and they all came back good. Like I didn't have cancer or anything like that. But then the doctor wanted me to figure out this one that was very, very large. And they said, you might want to get this removed. It's very large. And I had to like go to a surgical doctor to see if I should get it removed, if it's bothering me, anything like that. And I actually went there and he said, I actually don't see a need for surgery for you. It's not bothering you. It's not cancerous. It's not harming you. Let's see where you are in six months with it and we'll go from there. So no surgery for me right now. Praise only because I still have $500 of one bill and like 300 of another from just my biopsies. Like I had five biopsies done and I still owe like $700 in two different bills. Yeah, it's it was a lot, but luckily I don't have to have a surgery over top of those bills. That'd be really bad. Um, but yeah. I'm just trying to think of anything else. Um, sorry, I don't mean to like sit here and like not do anything. I should have wrote some stuff down, but I think that might be it though. Um, oh, Dickie's Barbecue. I was like, I'm looking at the bag and I'm like, I don't know whether I want to say it or not, but I probably should. Dickie's barbecue pit. Google it right now. It is so good. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Like, ugh, I could eat there for the rest of my life and be so happy and so full. Just saying. And they give you these cups. How cute. This is like the kid cup and then they have like the, they just got rid of their 75 year one. Which was like black, which Dan has. Um, yeah. Ooh, actually, I have something lush to show you. Because I'm also, by the way, I'm also trying to combine all the videos that I was thinking about into this video, too. So, I ran out of my new shampoo bar. Because you guys know I love lush continuously. Um, but I, the last shampoo bar that I had was the new bar which is supposed to like help your hair but this is the um original one that i had which is honey i washed my hair which i gotta take that to the gym with me today but this is completely new to me and i was like i'll buy this and see what it is if you go on lush's website um you see that they have shower jellies um and i was like okay that seems cool oh, okay it's kind of like body soap like you can like wash your body with it but I think this, this is really cool because it's, it's not like a bar of soap. Uh, yeah, it's not like a bar of soap. Like, oh, and this is still upside down. Like, this is definitely like, you know, there's like, if you've ever had a jello cup and you just take the jello, like, and you flip it out, like, that's basically, it's basically like a jello cup, like, you could eat. Like, it's the same consistency and everything, except. You t this is at least what I do. I take it out, which I'm not going to because it's a little slimy. Um, you take it out and then I just like rub it on my washcloth like a bar of soap. Obviously it's harder because it's like jelly, but if you cup your hand like right around it, it's normally good. But I love it. I mean, I feel like it's going to last about the same time that normally a shampoo bar does. So I'm excited. But I got the 93,000 miles, which is supposed to help with like muscle relief and stuff like that. Which is good because my muscles hurt really bad today from my workout with Dan yesterday. Um, but, yes. And, last thing. Things that I am thankful for because of Thanksgiving. Um, by the way, may I mind you, I'm still thinking about this all on the top of my head. One, I am 
greatly thankful that Andrew and Cindy allow me to stay here. Even though I do pay them $200 a month, I am blessed beyond belief that I get to stay here because I, I feel like I'm living alone sometimes and it's great. Um, I'm clearly thankful for the Lord. Like, even though I sometimes doubt of what he's doing, I always know that he's doing something great. Um, I'm thankful for Dan, even though we're not married yet. P.S. October 31st, Dan and I were engaged for a year. Dan and I both said that could be like a good and a bad thing. Because it's like, shouldn't you guys just be married? Like, by this point? Yeah, we should. Um, I'm thankful for a lot. And I'm thankful for the things that I don't think that I am. Because I'm, I'm saying that only because, like, I, I'm a person that does take things for granted sometimes of, like, um, like, even my laundry basket. Like, why am I getting a new one when I have one? Like, kind of a thing. The, those type of little things are, like, when, when I complain about my job too much, but it's, like, I do like my job. Those certain things. Um... But, yeah. I think that was the entire update video. Yeah, and if you... The reason why this is all kind of in one video is because, one, I posted on my Instagram story and asked, do you guys even want me to make videos for the month of November? If you do, message me down below where it says send messages. No one messaged me at all. So that's why I'm morphing all of them into one. So I at least make one video this month. But, um, also with my busy schedule of now working out three times a week and my job, I really don't have time to film anyway, so, um, but if you guys do have any questions, if you guys are thinking to me, because I think about all of my friends literally all the time, like, not even kidding, um, message me on Facebook, message me on here, message me anywhere, just... Give me a shout out. Hey, we don't even really need to talk. Like, be like, hey, just thinking of you. And I'll be like, hey, just thinking of you too. We don't even need to talk or anything. Like, I understand pe other people are busy too. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be the end of the video. Sorry it was a little rambly. I just thought I'd upload a video today. But um, I hope you guys are having a great day. And... Please just stay positive because when it gets to winter, everyone starts to get like depressed and cold and bleh. But um, I love you guys and the majority of you, I miss you a lot. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. Bye.